Hello from brothers and sisters, happy new year and happy holidays. I really hope that year 2020 won't happen again. Ok, it's time for new team and tactics guide. Today we are going to check Portuguese giant FC Porto. And first let's see their training facilities. Porto has nice stadium capacity around 50,000, training facilities are 17, youth facilities 15, only 15, so need to invest a bit in youth facilities, then junior coaching 20, the maximum possible, youth recruitment 17, not bad, and corporate facilities are 15. Ok, now let's check all the players and their current and potential abilities. So the best player of FC Port right now is someone who doesn't have that, that popular name, that's Jesus Corona with the current ability, 156. A uh, really fantastic winger, can play in many positions actually, can be also as a wing back on the right side. Uh, then we have famous face, Pepe, 37 years old, still some great attributes. Ok, next is Daniel Pereira, he's on loan from Paris Saint-Germain but actually joining permanently. That's good thing, current ability 149. Then Sergio Oliveira, Portuguese deep line playmaker, team player, team, uh, player with a great vision. Ok, next is Luis Diaz, a great winger, Colombian winger, fantastic dribbling, current ability 143. Then Otavio, another winger. So we see that uh, Porto has really quality wingers, that's for sure. Another great winger is Felipe Anderson, who is alone from West Ham. Ok, with the current ability 141. Then we have Augustin uh, Marques, an Argentinian sweeper keeper. Uribe, another Colombian with the current ability 140. Ok. Here I will scroll down so you can check all the players, their current and potential abilities. Uh, there are many players at Port right now, but uh, do we have some young players with a high potential? One of them, Vitor Ferreira, on loan at Wolves, uh, potential ability 164, wow, he's 20 years old. Uh, then Evan, Evan, Evanson, yeah, in inverted winger, can play as a striker too, advanced forward, great potential, 162, he's 20 years old, so he's, gonna, uh, he's going to improve, that's for sure. Then we have Romario Barro, Portuguese box-to-box -box midfielder, I really like this, this player, also nice potential, 159. Uh, then 20 years old, uh, Diogo Costa, sweeper-keeper, Portuguese sweeper-keeper, potential ability, 155. Okay, uh, then Thomas Estevez, uh, Portuguese wing back, uh, also interesting kid, nice potential, 154. Uh, Malang actually, he's on loan from Chelsea. Uh, then we have Danilo Pereira, but actually, he's 28 years old. Uh, and we have 20 years old Fabio Vieira, uh, another winger, another player with the nice attributes and really good potential ability. Uh, his potential ability 148. Okay, uh, now I want to check uh, B team. Even there we have some incredible kids. Yes, like this one. Francisco Conceição. Wow, 17 years old winger. Uh, so for uh, Porto should not worry about wingers, that's for sure. They have so many quality wingers. His potential ability 165. Then we have Gonzalo Borges, uh, another winger, potential ability 155. And 17 years old, Vasco Souza, advanced playmaker, not bad potential ability. Okay, then 17 years old, David Vinas, uh, central defender. Okay, and uh, Rodrigo uh, Pineiro, Portuguese wing back. So there are many interesting kids at Porto, that's for sure. And under 19 squad, even there we have some kids like uh, Gabriel Brass. Wow, 16 years old central defender, potential ability 154. Uh, then Gonzalo Estevez, also nice potential 147. And maybe Tiago Antunes, uh, potential ability 138. Okay, uh, now I will show you uh, first team and best formation and tactic for FC Porto. Ok, so this would be my first team, I was playing formation 4-2-2-2. At least in Portuguese league you need to play really attacking football. So, in attack I would use Marega as a pressing forward, and I'm going to use uh, Taremi as a deep line forward support duty. On the wings, of course, the best player of FC Porto, Corona on the left side, 
and on the right side I would use Diaz. The only uh, reason why I'm going to use Diaz on the right side is because Philip Anderson is on loan from West Ham. He's not our player, but actually he has uh, better attributes for this role. I mean, Diaz is not bad, uh, but his crossing is only 11. Dribbling is fantastic, speed is okay, technique is okay, but crossing is really poor, only 11. And check this, we have one more player for this position, and that's Otavio. But Otavio has crossing only 10. And this is the biggest problem, I mean, if you are going to play this tactic, you need someone who knows uh, how to cross, that's for sure. Okay, then, box-to-box -box mid Uribe, Oliveira, deep line playmaker, support duty. On the left side, full-back attacking duty, Sanusi and Manara, complete wing-back, support duty. Also, problem for Wilson is that he has poor crossing. Uh, then, pair of Sandal defenders, uh, Malang Sar. Uh, and Mbemba. Both of them are very fast and uh, this is a good thing because you can play with the high defensive line. I mean, yes, we have Pepe, but Pepe is a bit slower and he's 37 years old. So in some games, maybe you can use Pepe, but still I would go with these two central defenders. On the goal, of course, uh, Augustine as a sweeper keeper. Okay, uh, now I'll show the results that I made with this uh, tactic information. So I have simulated whole season and this happened. We won the title very easy, 89 points, uh, only 3 losses, uh, 2 draws and 29 wins. Evanilson scored 27 goals. Ok, at the end I will show you some players that you should try to sign. FC Porto has really big financial problems, transfer budget zero, wage budget also a big problem, uh, 634, so we are spending more than we have, yeah, okay, and this is my short list uh, of some free agents that you should try to sign, because you don't have money, first on that list is Quadra Samoa, 31 years old, Ghanaian, uh, full back, uh, and can cover almost whole left side, really interesting player, can help at least for uh, one season, that's for sure, Okay, next is Jack Wilshire. I really like this guy. Even in real life, he's he's interesting player. He's 28. Uh, he can be a help for sure. And the best thing is that he's a free agent and wants to play for FC Porto. And uh, next is Ahmed Musa, Nigerian winger, can play as a striker. I mean, he's extremely fast, and this is why it's not a bad idea maybe to sign him. He can be solid backup uh, for your strikers. Uh, he's very fast. I like that. And last on my list is Mario Balotelli, hot cad. I mean, he's free agent, uh, still incredible technical attributes and not bad physical attributes. The only problem is that his mental attributes are really poor. But it, it would be not a bad idea to try maybe some minutes. Some minutes he can help you yeah, to, to be back up for your strikers. At the end we can see that Porto has three team leaders, Pepe Oliveira and Corona. Also, we have only one player with a high influence and that's a problem. So, you really need more players with a high influence because Pepe is going to retire and this could be a problem for your team. Team leaders are very important if you want to make some good results.